Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to introduce you to Trinity from Seven Systems. It's really a fantastic uh, um, mastering tool and it's so nice to see these tools actually coming to iOS or the world of iOS. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe um, as it helps to grow in the channel. Thank you very much. So let's launch Trinity. And the reason that I wanted to launch Trinity in the video is because, as you can see, even the launch screen has been taken care of from a UI perspective. It's something I really like of this tool. The UI is really nice, neat, clear, really straightforward. If you used Trinity before, it's going to ask you to reload the last used audio files, and you can go ahead clicking OK or click Cancel. I'm going to click Cancel. Let's go through a little bit of controls for this introductory video, as there is quite a lot. Let's start from the top left. You have a load input button. Click on it. And this allows you to really load an audio file, for example, from a media library or from a files folder. So in this case, I'm going to select something I already have, which I already created. As you can see, it has loaded this WAV file um, up here, where I'm highlighting with the mouse cursor. And you can also load a reference file as well, works in a similar way here, media library files, and it will load that uh, um, reference file. And it is important to load a reference files because you might have, or you might want to use that for uh, uh, mastering as you have done on a previous file. And indeed you have uh, down here where it says the DIF for difference here, you have uh, uh, actually a tool which allows you to see the differences between what you loaded as an input and also your reference file. So really, really nice. So you can click play here. And of course it will play that um, audio file that you loaded. Now, you can click somewhere on the waveform and it will play from that point. As well, if uh, you have here a symbol for loop, and it will start the loop from the uh, previous position. So if, for example, I press here, uh, I activate, um, um, I press here and then I activate the loop, it will start from there. And it's really nice to, that it works in this way because if you created a loop and uh, then you can deactivate it a little bit and you can let it play a little bit more and then click loop again and it will uh, restart of course from the previous position that it has recorded in history and um, to loop. So it's really nice and you can focus exactly where you want actually to start the loop with, instead of actually playing the entire WAV file for mastering purposes. So that's that's really, really nice. I really like that. So that's um, um, play and deactivate the loop. Okay, next here we have uh, actually a button which allows you to change the project sample rate. So you can go from 44.1 to up to 90, 96K, so really nice. You have a selection here of default presets, and you can see you have a, you can save your own as well in your user category as well. You can export here. You can read the about, and more importantly, here you have access to a menu uh, help context help. So you click on it, and then you see these purple um, question marks. So if you don't remember, for example, what this button does, click on it, and it will say when enable the spectral analyzer, which you see in in the middle here will smooth out the frequency response over half octave. So when you finish re reading it, click OK, and then you can deactivate the help. So this is really nice because when you don't remember how it works, click help and then click on the control. So really, really, really straightforward. So in the middle, you have a spectrum analyzer. And um, it's quite interesting because you have three bands here for compression. OK, and you split the bands in frequency using these uh, handles here, all right? So really nice. And um, here you have, you can, um, well, you have, of course, a spectral analyzer, which is this line that you see here, right? And you have scale here, plus or minus 12, or plus six, as you can see. So you can change that as well. And then uh, you can uh, 
um, over uh, impose the compressor on the spectral analyzer. So let me show you. So you can see the uh, compressions for the, the three bands actually acting on the spectral analyzer, which is really nice. You can also change, uh, uh, well, actually, as I said, you can smooth out uh, um, above half octave. And you can see down here that it will smooth out. And you can also click and hold the movie up to see a little bit more. It's nice to see some of this moving. Then here you have a control for the spectral analyzer. If you want that uh, it moves slower, it reacts um, slower, so it will remove some fast movement, or you can do the opposite. So let me show you. And this works in, uh, very well in conjunction with the ALF octaves, really nice. Then, as you can see here, you have a um, low pass filter, which you can change the step here, and then you can change, of course, the cutoff frequency there. So let's try. <laughs> Okay, then you can also adjust the different uh, 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 bending. So you click on one of them. Okay, and um, depending, of course, on the different position, then you can uh, um, decide to... There you go. Um, you can click on it. You can decide to move the frequency, right? It's practically three uh, free EQ bends. So you can move the frequency, and then you can move up and down for the gain. Right, it's really nice. So let's activate all the others. And let's play a little bit. And as I said, if you don't remember something, just click, like, for example, on this one, and it will give you um, a help. In this case, it says that control here is to adjust the Q, the width of the respective EQ, which is really nice in terms of how it is processing. So the help, the context help is really, really nice. Here you have also a high... Uh, shelf EQ as well, which works really nice. You can select the steep, of course, and the gain up and down and change the frequency. Okay, now let's move... Um, at the bottom of the screen, it's quite interesting because um, you have a control here for the overall compressor, which you can uh, decide here. And you can change also the algorithms, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Let's try. And um, you have then uh, the refinement on three bands for the compressor. So you can choose a refinement here in terms um, of density. For the compression, you have the typical control for ratio, key, knee, attack, release, um, if you want in mono or wide, etc. And then also the respective gain, and you can also solo it. And again, the context help works um, as uh, in, in, in most of the control. One of the things you see uh, that if you want to know what this does, for example, you don't have the help here, but you have it up here, for example, right? This is for your stereo widening, okay? Mono into wide. And same here, if you want to know how this works, then again, it shows you the density slider uh, for fine tuning, as I just mentioned. Okay, so sometimes you have to move to a similar control to find the, the uh, help uh, uh, question mark to click on it. The other thing I really like is that you can normalize the sound and add saturation, of course, uh, before it goes into the compressor here or after the compressor. 
pound there, which is again really nice. And you can see also um, nice in, in a different coloring in terms of where the saturation kicks in and also where it's clipping in terms of going from orange to red. <music> Okay, then down here you can you also have a wave shape, which is really nice. You can activate it here. You can choose the algorithm here. You can add oversampling, and then you can decide the strength in terms of uh, character as well. Really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, you can decide the, the output or change the output. Here you have, have also access to a limiter and also a clipper with control for attack and release. Really nice. And you also have a ceiling as well for your top, um, yeah, for your top ceiling. Here you can decide if to process or not. Straightforward. Yeah, you have setting um, for your mono. And then here you have visual representation also of... Uh, uh, the stereo spectrum and finally here you have uh, um, your uh, meter which um, is really useful <laughs> But as I, as I said, the the best thing um, uh, in this tool is the context help because it works um, really really well. It explains everything that you need to um, to know. And in in some cases, in some quite details, which uh, you don't find, for example, in uh, other tools. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this introductory um, tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.